Good afternoon people. Um, today in this video I'm going to be explaining the, the simple present of the burpee. I'm going to jump right in. The, the simple present of the burpee um, it is it is formed by three words. It is formed by M by R and by is. This is the um, the burpee. But we use M with I. You, we, they. We use R. He, she, and it. With these three people over here, we use is. So, or with these three subjects that you said. This is the burpee, and the short form. The burpee has short forms in positive or affirmative, negative, and in negative as well. So, for the short form of I am is I'm. I'm from Japan. You, we, they are. The short form is your, we're, there. You're from Brazil. We're from Brazil. They're from Brazil. From Japan. From India. He, she, and it. Remember that we can change this instead of saying he. We can say Carla, Carlos or instead of saying she or writing she, we can say um, Joan, etc. The contract, the short form of the burpee in affirmative for these three subjects is he is. For he, is, is, he is. She is an it's. He's from India. She's from India. In negative. In negative, we only need to add the word not after the verb be. That's all. For making the negative of the verb be in 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 simple present, we only have to add not after it. I'm not. I'm not married. Or the short form. The short form. The short form, it is normally used when we speak, right? To make things um, shorter or, or when we write as well. I'm not. I'm not married. But with you, we, they are not. The short form. Um, there are two, two, two ways of making the short form uh, of the negative, right? Of the negative of the burpee. For example, you're not. This is a way. This is one way. Or you can say, or you can write, you aren't, you aren't happy, or you're not happy. These, both of these are the negative form uh, of the burpee, the short, the short negative form of the burpee. With we, we're not, or we aren't, we aren't, or we we are not we are not happy or we are not student or uh, we are not we aren't doctors and remember if we are gonna um, add a profession after we after they after uh, uh, you um, we should add an s for example we aren't doctors or we are not teachers or you are not you are not a student with you is a bit different you can use you're not students or you're not 
student. You are not a student. You, with you, you can use singular and plural, right? Just uh, for you to know. The negative of he, she, and it in its long form is, is not, but in its short form um, is, he isn't, or he's not, he's not a student, she isn't, or she's not a student, it isn't, it isn't a cat, or it's not a cat, there are two ways, remember that if I ask you in, a in the quiz, please write the short, f the short negative form of the verb be, right? Or use the short negative form of the verb be in the following sentences. You can use this one or you can use this one. Both are correct. Both are already short forms of the verb be. Questions. I'll move up to the questions. In question, questions I think is the easy, the, the easiest part of the verb. Why? Because we only move the verb, which is uh, over here in affirmative, right? We put the verb here in affirmative, but in questions we have to move the verb at the beginning of the sentence, like this one, we move it over here, and then we make the question, am I, am I beautiful? And then remember that when we finish our question, we have to write the question mark. And when we have to give the right intonation, indicating that we are asking a question, am I beautiful? Are you a teacher? Are you a doctor? Are we doctors? Are they students? Or are they tall? Is he, she, it tall? This is the way that we um, formulate questions or we make questions using the verb. We put the verb at the beginning of the questions and then we close the question with a question mark. Here I'm giving you four uses or four examples on uh, um, on which we have or we should use the verb With names, we use the verb with names. For example, I'm Roberto, he's Paulo, they're Aki and Yura. There, Aki and Yura. This is the contracted, this is the short affirmative form of the verb. With countries. With countries, we also use the verb. For example, I'm from Panama, I'm Panamanian, or I'm from the US, I'm American. I would say I'm North American because we are all Americans. Um, she's not Korean, she's Vietnamese. Remember the contraction negative and the contraction in affirmative. So you, um, for you to remember. In questions, are they from Australia? Are they from Australia? Good. And remember the question mark at the end. We also use the verb be with age when we're talking about age. I'm I'm 27 years old or you can say I'm 27 year I'm 27 only. You don't have to say uh, if you don't want uh, you don't have to, to, to say all this. I'm 27 and that's it or you can say I'm 27 years old. It's up to you. How old are you? Like in this example, she's 15 or I'm 15. My mother is 60 or my mother is 60 years old, 65 years old 
With emotions, with emotions, we also use the verb be. I'm sad, or I'm, or she's excited. You're angry. We're happy. With feelings like this, happy, angry, excited, beautiful, handsome. With all of these, with physical, like, features or um, with physical appearance, we have, we have to use the verb be as well. With jobs, with jobs and professions, we use the verb be. Student is also a profession, it's also a job. So, I'm not a student. I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher. Are you a doctor? He's a journalist. They're artists. Here, um, I'm basically finishing with it, but I'm going to, like, review. I'm, I'm just going to wrap up what I just explained. The positive, the verb in affirmative is, is formed or um, um, made by three words. M, R, and is. And this is the contracted form of the verb in, affirm, in affirmative. This is a short way. This is a short way of saying or writing it. When we when we use the ber, the verb be, this is the short affirmative or positive uh, uh, form of the verb be. In negative, in negative, the only thing we have to make a sentence negative is by adding not after the verb be, after am, after are, or after is. The negative of this is I'm not, and these are other examples of negative or but in a short way, in a short form. You're not, you aren't. We're not, we aren't. They're not, they aren't. In questions, in questions, we, we, we only move. The only thing we have to do is to move the verb that is normally placed over here in affirmative or positive sentences at the beginning of the sentence. Am I beautiful? Are you a doctor, a teacher, a student? And is she or he tall? And some examples of the use um, of the verb We use the verb with names. I'm or he's Paulo. I'm Roberto. Country. After con um, we use we use the verb also with countries. I'm from the U.S. I'm with nationalities as well, with the age, and with emotions and jobs. Over here, I have um, a short practice. Um, I want you to pick the right, the right um, option from A, B, or C. We, we from Canada. We aren't, we isn't, or we am from Canada. What or which is the, the, the right answer in this, in this um, question one? The right answer for this question is aren't. Because according to the grammar, with we, we use aren't. We aren't from Canada. Question two. My parents divorced. We use are, is, or am. I think you chose A. Why? Because parents has an S, which indicates plural. And with plural, we use are. My parents, my teachers, my uh, brothers, my sisters, with uh, plural, with plural nouns, or with nouns in plural, we use are. Question three, this is a contracted form. We use A, B, or C. I think you chose M. M 
tire. With with I, I used M. Question four. This, this is a question. It has a question mark at the end. Where the subject is you. With you, I use R, is, or M. I use R. Where are you from? So I, this is the right answer. Your brother tall. Your brother, this is a subject, right? Brother is a subject. Brother is he. With he we use? Absolutely, we use is. This is the right answer. Is your brother tall? Question six. Sarah married. Sarah is not or not not. Sarah is she. And with she in the contracted or short form of the verb be is is not or is not. Sarah is not married. The answer is A. Bob and Tani, my cousins. Bob and Tani. Bob and Tani are two people. With two or more people, we use are, is, or are. Absolutely, we use are. Bob and Tony are because Bob and Tony um, uh, is, uh, is the same as um, they. So with they, we use are. Question 8. The food at the restaurant. The food at this restaurant good is R or M. The subject of this sentence is the food. We're talking about one, two, or more. In this case, it doesn't have any S. So it's clear that this sentence, the subject of this sentence is singular. So, is the food at this restaurant good? My apartment very small. My apartment, how many? Is one, is two, or three apartments? Here is only one. With one, we use singular. My apartment is. Right? I'm going to leave the video um, um, up to here. Once again, if you have any question about the grammar of the verb in simple present, please let me know. Um, on at Moto, I'll be um, posting the quizzes and the, the activities that you have to, um, to take in regards to, to this lesson. Um, if you have question, please do not hesitate to um, WhatsApp me or to send me a, a message on Edmodo and I'll be um, checking them and I'll be answering to your inquiries and your question. Thank you for watching this video and um, see you soon. Bye-bye.